Hey, it's John from Oz General Store here. Okay, we're working on the XE. You see I've got my welder set up. I've just sanded this back using a strip disc. And I can see there's a rust affected area. This must have had a bit of a, a smash because this is pushed in. So what we're going to do is make a little template of our piece that we need to replace. Then we're going to transfer that to some steel. All right, here's my little template here. Fits on like that. You can trim this down a little bit more. This is a pretty good starting point. So let's scribe this onto our sheet of metal. Okay, here it is. Let's put that over here. Here's my sheet of one mil cold rolled steel. Looks a bit rusty, but we can clean it up. Should be right. Gotta watch the jagged edges. Okay, there it is there. Okay, so we're gonna scribe our piece on there, clean it all up, see how we go. All right, clean the middle, got my template. Now you need something to scribe it, just something sharp. I don't know where my scriber is, it's probably at home. Don't know whether you can see that. This is the outline of the template there, and we're gonna cut along that. All right, there's my template, and there's my blank. This little bit over here, like over here, I started sort of touching on there. So it sort of left a little bit of a scribe mark, but it's not that deep, it's fine. Should be right. Okay, so there's my template there, and that matches up basically almost correct. There you go, it's a little bit out there. I just snipped it just a touch there, and I'll clean that up right now. So let's go and take it over and have a bit of a squeeze and see what it looks like. Okay, check that out. Imagine if that piece was actually welded in. You'd be basically there. Look at that, amazing. So my thought is that I'm gonna trim along this line here and then up around here and then replace that with this. I'm hoping there's enough metal down there, but I've left a little bit extra. We'll see how that goes. All right, nice and clean. Wow, check that out. All right, just gotta keep refitting it. Keep looking at it. Okay, so it's got a slight bend that way. So we can start sort of bending it. It's very malleable. So I've started to get that curve just there. See that, just a slight bend in it. And then it curves this way here so this bit here needs to go sort of like that way so we've created that little lip that goes down
All right, cool. I've spent a few more minutes just sort of hammering away. I actually started using this dolly here. I just put it on top of the glove so it did scratch the shit out of that bottom piece there. And I used that curvature there, which I thought was a pretty good fit. So I was sort of holding it along there and I went along just nicely. So you can see that I've curved up that piece now. It's starting to take shape. It's a little bit wonky there, but we can straighten that. But just holding it with one hand, I'll see whether I can sort of just get it into position so you can see what I see. See now it's sort of folded over there. There's a little bit overhang there, but it's nice to have a little bit of extra material just in case I can always cut it off. On this side, it's not bad, it overhangs by a little bit, but I can just sort of trim that down just to touch, it's not a big deal. All right, let's keep going. This sort of stuff, tools are your friends, except all of my tools have been used and abused. Check out my magnet. Oh my God, why do I have a million rivets on it? Half of my shit's still at home, half of it's here. So, you know, you get that on the big jobs got heaps of swarf on it, all the nasty stuff. Ah, get that on the big jobs though. All right, this is where I'm at, the big old magnet. I tried looking for a smaller one, but this is what I got. That's the magnet holding it there, so that's the actual curvature of it there. It's not a bad fit. Not a bad fit. Oop. So it sits in just like that. Alrighty. Let's scribe that up and then we can cut this, tack that into place, move that a little bit more and blah, 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 blah. Scribed it up with my trusty screwdriver, my flatty. So you can see it there, all along there, and I'll follow that line just there. And then when I weld it in, I'll have to shape it because if I didn't do that, then I would have to fold over this flap and it's, it's like double spot welded into this and I really don't feel like making this piece here because then I need to fold it and it's a lot more work. Somebody far more skilled than me would be able to tackle that job. But all I want to do is just bloop, just put something right there. What I might do is instead of trying to follow that line right there, I might just open her up whoop, and then give me access to that and I can always grind that down to get that perfect edge I want. All right, doesn't look pretty, but you know, that's just the way it is, unfortunately. So that's just a bit, big bit of Bondo. I don't want to cut myself, so I'll just get a screwdriver and jimmy it in, jimmy it out. And then after that, there's more bog, which I need to attend to. And then I want to cut down here just gently and then get a grinder and then give me something to actually weld to. Because right now, boys, she ain't looking very good. Oh. In one foul swoop. Far out. Where I'm at so far. Oh. 
Oh, just chasing worlds. That's what happens when the um, middle's really, really thin and you just keep blowing holes. Uh, so, I mean, up the top's not bad. You can see here, yeah, it all matches. When I grind it down, I'll have a look at that body line and make sure that it comes around. But down the bottom, as always, you know, I cut it a little bit too short. And yeah, I've got little holes to fill down there. But she'll come up all right, I think. You know, I've gone along that seam and I just need to just grind it down and then just keep building it up, grind, build it up. <sighs> yeah, rust repairs, not my favorite thing to do. I don't know who would actually really enjoy rust repairs day in, day out, but you know, anyway, get that on the big jobs. All right, so here's the patch panel. She's looking pretty good. She follows that line, if you can see that. She's just swoopy down. It doesn't look too bad, but I've got to grind it off and I'll leave all these sort of like holes there. Then I'll have to re-weld it and do it over a few times, as I mentioned. That line there, we've retained it. Ah, I'm pretty happy how that turned out, actually. Yeah, okay. All right, I've got to hop on the grinder. All right, here we are. Giving it a light little grind. It's getting there. You can see they were just tacks, so there's still holes that I need to fill. And then over here, using this particular grinder with the flap disc, because it's such a large surface area, you've got to be careful that you don't dig down here and down up here as well, because that makes the metal very, very thin. So overall, it's not bad. And I've started to grind that lip, so I've got it, but it needs, two or three goes over to get it nice. And it's starting to sink in just a little bit over here. So that needs a hit from the inside to push that out just slightly, just to keep that line. I'm happy with this, but here it just sags just a touch. So let's keep welding that bit across there, build it up and fill all of these little pinholes and then build up the material a little bit over here. And then I'll be able to then Sanded a little bit more. But from afar, yeah, it doesn't look too bad. All right, guys, that was a bit of welding. Unfortunately, I ran out of welding gas, so I didn't want to keep on going because I'd just be blowing chunks everywhere sort of thing. But um, I've almost finished it. I'm waiting for some new welding gas. I've already started sanding it. That's going to be the next video. So the next video is obviously finish off all the welding, sand it, get some primer on it, a few more repairs in terms of uh, hammer and dolly work. But uh, it's the weekends, you know, I'm looking forward to it. I hope you guys have a fantastic weekend. Thanks for checking out our videos as always. Don't forget to comment, like, subscribe, all that fun stuff. Mate, I think it's almost home time. Take it easy. The door handles worked.